Hello everyone, good day. Welcome once again to the Ecotourism Journey channel. Thank you very much for watching my videos and patronizing the Ecotourism Journey. If this is your first time in my channel, please click subscribe button below. Kindly hit also the bell icon so that you will be notified for the new uploaded videos. This video is an instructional resource in response to the new normal of delivering academic requirements. This is in continuation from the part 1 video of Region 5 or Bicol Region with provinces of Albay, Camarines Norte and Camarines Sur. In this lesson, it emphasizes the history, culture and tourism in Region 5. Likewise, this is one of the course intended learning outcomes of Philippine culture and tourism geography. Please relax and enjoy while learning at the same time. What are the objectives? At the end of this lesson, you will be able to 1. Describe brief history and geographical features of Region 5 or Bicol Region. 2. Describe basic economic activities of each province in the region. 3. Introduce the tourist destinations in the region. 4. Promote tourism and tourist destination on a regional level. Region 5. Bicol Region. Bicol Region, is an administrative region of the Philippines, designated as Region 5 with Legazpi City as regional center. The people of the Bicol region, called Bicolanos, speak any of the several languages of the Bicol language family. The Bicolano cuisine is primarily noted for the prominent use of chili peppers and gata or coconut milk in its food. A classic example is the gulai na lada, known outside the region as Bicol Express, a well-loved dish using native small chilies and the aforementioned gata. Bicol region has a large amount of rich flatland, and agriculture is the largest component of the economy, followed by commercial fishing. Bicol region is highly volcanic in origin and part of the Pacific Ring of Fire known as the Bicol Volcanic Arc or Chain. The volcanoes are the results of the Philippine Sea Plate subducting under the Philippine Mobile Belt, along the Philippine Trench. Bicol comprises six provinces, four on the Bicol Peninsula mainland, Albay, Camarines Norte, Camarines Sur, and Sorsogon and the offshore island provinces of Catanduanas and Masbate. Province of Catanduanas. This is an island province located in the Bicol region of Luzon in the Philippines with Virac as capital, a first-class municipality. It is the 12th largest island in the Philippines, the province lies to the east of Camarines Sur across Makeda Channel. The province comprises Catanduanas Island, the Panay Island, Leet Island, Palumbanes Group of Islands, and a few other minor surrounding islets and rocks. The province is also home to various mollusk fossil sites, notably for the second oldest ammonite site in Philippine history. The sites also possess certain species of ammonites that can't be found anywhere else in Southeast Asia. History. Bornean Datus settled on the island of Panay, their descendants then migrated throughout the archipelago and became the first settlers in Catanduanas. In 1573, when Juan de Salcedo arrived in Catanduanas hunting for pirates, and conquered the natives. Three years later, a galleon expedition from Acapulco was shipwrecked near the island and the survivors were either killed or made servants. During the American regime, some locals refused to recognize the sovereignty of the United States, and most of them fled to the mountains. The American occupation did not last long. In 1934, the Americans had seized control of the island. During World War II, Catanduanas was not spared from Japanese invasion, they erected garrisons in different parts of the island. On September 26, 1945, Catanduanas after recognized as a separate and independent province, under Republic Act No. 159. Catanduanas was a former sub-province of Ambos Camarines in the early 1900s and later of Albay, later, it gained provincial autonomy. Geography. Catanduanas is situated in the easternmost fringe of Luzon with 11 municipalities, the province is mostly rugged and mountainous terrain. The island bounded on the west by the Makeda Channel, on the south by Laganoy Gulf, and on the north and east by the Philippine Sea. The topography of Catanduanas Island is rugged and mountainous, becoming more pronounced towards the central portion of the island. Mostly fractured and narrow strips of plains located along the coastal areas where most of the inhabitants are settled. The highest mountain peak is in Bakhtat, located between the municipalities of Virac and San Miguel with an elevation of 803 meters above sea level. 10 of the 11 municipalities of the province is situated along the coastal fringes, over which locate its mostly fractured plains. 
Catanduana's geographical position has it lying completely exposed to the Philippine Sea. Therefore, it is known as, Land of the Howling Winds, because it is frequently visited by tropical cyclones. Demographics. The population of Catanduanas in the 2015 census was 260,964 people with Roman Catholicism as the primary religion. People are mostly natural-born citizen in the province, naturalized citizens, most of which are Chinese, comprised only about 1% of the population. There are two variants of the Bicol languages native to this island province, Northern Catanduanas Bicolano and Southern Catanduanas Bicolano. The northern accent has a very pronounced letter, R, that becomes a diphthong of non-vowel letters, L, and R, in the southern towns. In written form, the conventional mainland language like Central Bicol is used, Filipino, by virtue as being officially taught in school. Bicolanos, is the second most common language and easily the most understood by most people, English is also the normal medium used in primary communications. The predominant ethnic group are the Bicolano people, migrants from other parts of Luzon, as well as Visayas and Mindanao, makes up the minority. Economy. The island is the most progressive province in Bicol region with agriculture, fishing, and tourism are some of the other main sources of employment. Several handicrafts such as jewelry manufacturing and other small-scale industries also contribute to the province's economy. The province is rich in natural resources such as forests, waterfalls, rivers, mineral deposits and productive soil made fertile by volcanic ashes. Rattencraft, fishing, burry hat and mat making, and abaca fiber craft are among the important industries of the island. Virac, the capital town of the island was among the top in terms of infrastructure in 2012 most competitive municipality category. Catanduanas Island is the native habitat of the endemic abaca plant, a banana relative, which is globally renowned for its strong fiber. In fact, the Philippines FIDA Fiber Industry Development Authority declared the island as the highest abaca producing province in 2010. Catanduanas is the biggest abaca producing province in the country, is also the home of the finest grade of abaca fiber. This indigenous fabric has shown its versatility in the globally appealing designs and creations of famous fashion designer Dita Sandakoong. Until now wild type of abaca can still be found in the interior forests of the province which is often not cultivated. Catanduanas has maintained its abaca country status as the top abaca fiber producing province in the Philippines despite the typhoons. Catanduanas mud crab industry is being supported by the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources and other agencies to ensure sustainability. The provincial government is maintaining the Catanduanas Crab Center which serves as a source of crablets for grow out and fattening by fish pond operators. Transportation. Virac Airport is the primary airport serving Catanduanas with scheduled flights to Manila regularly. From the seaport of Tabaco, several shipping company offers transport service in just one hour and a half in Virac Port and San Andres Port. Overland, a 12-hour bus ride from Manila to Tabaco, in Albay, is needed to cover the 580 km distance, private vehicles are also available for hire to any point in the island. Numerous bus lines operate air-conditioned and ordinary buses and coaches travel from Manila to Tabaco in Albay. Some of these buses are loaded to the ferry for its final stop in the town of Virac through roll-on, roll-off system. Transportation around the island is provided by jeepneys, vans and bus for inter-town travel, while tricycles will take you around the towns. Tourism and culture. The industry in the province is growing relatively quickly despite the fact that the island experiences almost year-round typhoons. Labeling the province as a typhoon capital of the Philippines, with the tagline, the land of the howling winds. Catanduanas is known for its beaches, prehistoric caves, quaint stone chapels and massive churches. Despite the typhoons, safe anchorage is provided by its many bays and coves notably Kalapalan, Gigmoto, Sabak, and Cabagao. Its Pacific coastline attracts surfers, particularly at Baras, the province features beaches with fine sand and coral formations. The tourism industry in Catanduanas continues to receive a positive response from foreign and domestic travelers. St. John the Baptist Catholic Church. Located in Poblacion, Bado, is the only remaining structure of its kind in the entire island. The church is of interest not only as a mid-colonization Filipino-Spanish architecture but as a historical landmark which stands despite the calamities. 
Holy Cross of Batalai Shrine. Located in Batalai, Bato, is the site where the first Catholic cross was planted in Cadenduanas. This was built over the burial place of Augustinian priest Fray Diego de Herrera in 1576 who died in Batalai, Bato. Legend says that a spring water sprouted near the cross believed to have healing powers, the cross is enshrined presently in Batalai Chapel. San Miguel River Park. Located in San Miguel, is the largest fresh water stream in Cadenduanas. The park is stretching from the middle of the island all the way to the south with activities like kayaking and refreshing ride. Katandungan Festival. This is an annual celebration of the island province commemorating the province's independence from Albay every October. The main features of the festival are street dancing like pantomina dance, beauty pageant, agro trade fair, sports fest, guided tour, and surfing cup. Marabina Falls is the most popular and most accessible waterfall from Virax town proper named after Barangays Maranawa and Bainanwahan. The water from the falls cascades down the mountain into a series of pools that visitors can wade into and enjoy the soothing environment. Marilima Beach. This is another beautiful stretch of creamy white sand beach in Virac, lined with coconut trees and surrounded by clear blue waters. Its simple beauty will seduce you into taking a dip in the water or lie down on the sand to get the perfect tan with the perfect view of the volcano. Mamangal Beach. Located right within Virac, is equally beautiful lined with trees where tourists can set up sarong and lie down on the shaded sandy shore. At low tide, tourists can easily see various seagrass in between wave-combed cream sand, while scuba divers can also enjoy seeing marine life. Province of Masbate. This is an island province in the Philippines located near the midsection of the nation's archipelago with Masbate City as capital. The province consists of three major islands, Masbate, Tikau and Burias, comprising 20 municipalities and one city. Masbate is at the crossroads of two island groups, Visayas and Luzon. It is politically part of Bicol region in the latter. History. Masbate is one of the oldest settlements in the Philippines, archaeological records show that Batungan and Bagumbayan were major sites. The development of bronze metallurgy in Southeast Asia coincided with an increasingly hierarchical society, firmly based on agricultural village settlements. The administration of Masbate was given back to the Mitra after the Recollects left Masbate in 1794, all in all, over 60 Recollect missionaries were assigned in Masbate for a period of more than 100 years. Masbate became a separate politico-military command province in 1846. In 1864, it was declared a separate province from Albay, after a devastating typhoon in 1908. Masbate was annexed to the province of Sorsogon, it finally gained status as a separate province on December 15, 1920 by virtue of Commonwealth Act. Geography the province lies roughly at the center of the Philippine archipelago, bounded on the north by Burias and Tikau Pass. It also lies on the east by San Bernardino Strait, south by the Visayan Sea, and west by the Cebuyan Sea. Relative to mainland Bicol, the province faces the southwestern coasts of Camarines Sur, Albay, and Sorsogon areas. The general surface configuration of the province ranges from slightly undulating to rolling and from hilly to mountainous. In each island, the rugged topography is concentrated in the northeastern portion and gradually recedes to blunt hills and rolling areas in the south, southeast, and southwest. Demographics The population of Masbate in the 2015 census was 892,393 people with Roman Catholicism as the predominant religion. There are three Visayan languages and one from Luzon, spoken in the province, Masbateño is a Visayan language unique to the province. It has mutual intelligibility with Hiligaynon, another Visayan language spoken in the southwestern tip of Masbate Island including Cebuano dialect. The people generally speak English and Tagalog, especially in conversing with tourists. Economy. Masbate is endowed with rich natural resources, along with its coastal areas, the fishing industry predominates. In line with its agriculture are other industries such as large farming, livestock, and poultry raising. Agricultural lands are planted with rice, corn, root crops, and coconut, fishing is also done in coastal municipalities. The province raises cattle which is next to Bukidnon, these are sold to Metro Manila and other provinces in Luzon and Visayas. 
Manufacturing firms are in the copra industry, handicrafts, furniture making, and fish processing. Rich minerals are found in the province, described by geologists as a province sitting on a pot of gold. Other minerals found in the area are manganese, copper, silver, iron, chromite, limestone, guano, and carbon. Cottage industries such as furniture and cabinet making, ceramics, garments, handicrafts, and metal crafts, are likewise the source of livelihood. Transportation. Airplane flying and connecting the island from Manila or Cebu is available regularly back and forth via Cebu Pacific. A daily trip is available going from Manila to Masbate via Roro bus, the terminal is located at Cubao in Quezon City. This is part of the nautical highway, the bus will be carried by the Roro boat from Pilar to Masbate City port and vice versa. Aurora bus also departs Masbate City daily in the morning bound for Cebu City, using the Montenegro Lines boat to Palombado. A fast craft is also available departing Pilar in the province of Sorsogon on Luzon to Masbate City three times a day back and forth. Two Roro ferries leave daily at midnight from Palombado Port, Bogo on Cebu Island, bound for two different destinations on Masbate. Transport outside Masbate City is limited to tricycles for short distances and buses, minivans, jeepneys for longer journeys. Tourism and culture. The province is blessed with excellent natural tourist attractions and renowned festivities, dubbed as the Rodeo Capital of the Philippines. Its main tourist attractions are the annual Rodeo Festival, County's Manta Ray Capital, and the Manta Bowl on Tikau Isle. Also, Tourists book a longer stay with great views of rolling green hills, untouchable islands, stunning sand bars, and kilometers of white sandy beaches. Palani White Beach. Located in Balud, Masbate, is most well-known white beach in the province. It is a 10-kilometer long stretch of white sand beach, in the secluded cove, and palm trees on the southwest coast of Balud. Halia Nature Park. Located in Tikau Island, is best tourist destinations in the province with beautiful remote resort. It has a small stretch of white sandy beach and sparkling crystal clear waters full of fish and corals, good for snorkeling and swimming. Bunted Sandbar Reef and Marine Sanctuary, these are the best tourist attractions on the coast of the capital city. Sprawling in 250 hectares of the reef and marine sanctuary, famous sandbox and cultivated mangroves are the main attractions of the sanctuary. This tourist attraction is a renowned picnic spot in the province, where kiosks for several shades are present. Tanalasayan Island, located at the eastern coasts of Burias Island, is another breathtaking natural attraction. The island's main attraction is its magnificent, long sandbar stretch in crystalline turquoise waters, perfect to swim and snorkel. The island is also surrounded with corals, rock formations, slate rock groups, and several trees that love rock balancing and central art. Tikau Island, just like Burias, there are only limited tourist establishments, save for budget accommodations and diners. However, Tikau is home to Manta Bowl, where divers can freely swim with manta rays, the reason for the influx of tourists. Aroroi Lighthouse, located in the northern part of Masbate Island that sets on Bagui Point. This centuries-old lighthouse is one of the many lighthouses built during the Spanish colonial era, constructed when the Filipinos began their revolution. Province of Sorsogon is a province in the Philippines located in the Bicol region, the capital is the city of Sorsogon and the province is composed of 14 municipalities. Prior to colonization, the region had a complex religious system which involved various deities. These deities include, Gugurong, the supreme god who dwells inside of Mount Mayan where he guards and protects the sacred fire. History. In 1572 Augustinian friars, Alonzon Jimenez and Juan Orta, accompanied by a certain captain, Enrique de Guzman. They reached Hibalong, a small fishing village near the mouth of Janangra River, and planted the cross and erected the first chapel in Luzon. Moving inland with a northwesterly direction they passed by the territory now known as Pilar, before they reached Camelig, Albay. The early towns established here were, Gibalon, now Sitio of Magalanes, Casiguran, Bulusan, Pilar, Donsal, Bacon, Gubit, Sorsogon, Juban and Matnog. The province was eventually separated from Albay on October 17, 1894 and adopted the name Sorsogon. On the 1935 Philippine Constitutional Convention, Sorsogon had its own delegates. They were Adolfo Graffalo, Francisco Arellano, Jose S. Reyes, and Mario Gorino. 
In 2000, Sorsogon City was created through the merging of the municipalities of Bacon and Sorsogon. Geography. Sorsogon covers a total area of 2,119.01 square kilometers occupying the southeastern tip of the Bicol Peninsula in Luzon. The province is bordered on the north by Albay, east by the Philippine Sea, and south by the San Bernardino Strait. Sorsogon is at the tip of the Bicol Peninsula and faces the island of Samar to the southeast across the San Bernardino Strait and Tikau Island. The province has an irregular topography, except for landlocked Irison, all the towns lie along the coast. They are all connected with concrete rads, mountain sprawls over the northeast, southeast and west portions. Mount Bulusan, the tallest peak, rises 1,560 meters above sea level. Demographics. The population of Sorsogon in the 2015 census was 792,949 people with Roman Catholicism as the predominant religion. The Baikalano language predominates in Sorsogon, English and Filipino are the official languages used in education and various forms of communications. But Baikalano as used in the province has some peculiarities, Bacol Naga is used in written communications and understood as a spoken language. In 2010, UNESCO released its third world volume of endangered languages in the world, where three critically endangered languages were in the Philippines. One of these languages in the Southern Ida language which has an estimated speaker of 150 people in the year 2000. The language was classified as critically endangered, meaning the youngest speakers are grandparents and older, they belong to the Ada people classification. Most of the inhabitants of the province belong to the ethnolinguistic Baikalano and Basakol groups. Economy. The province's economic activity is highly concentrated in its capital city, Sorsogon City, and the towns of Bulan, Irison, Gubit, Pilar and Matnog. Major commercial establishments primarily geared towards retail and wholesale and the Bacon District is the secondary business district of the city. The Bay City Sorsogon is currently being built at the coast of Barangay Balogo will definitely have a huge impact on the economic growth of the city. The center houses commercial complex, five-star hotel, coliseum, outdoor dining area, and central bus terminal that offers employment opportunities. Agriculture and fishing are also the source of livelihood for the people in Sorsogon due to its availability of natural resources. Transportation. The available airport with commercial flights near Sorsogon is the one found in Legazpi, Albay with flights regularly. The airport serves as the gateway with flights from Manila and Cebu, from there, the only way to get to Sorsogon is to take the bus from the airport. If one is coming from the southern part of the Philippines, an option is to ride a ferry, bus from Manila is also a cheapest mode of transportation wisely. This bus ride will take about 10 to 12 hours and from Legazpi City, Sorsogon is accessible via another bus ride of less than an hour. The standard means of Sorsogon transportation are available once one within the city limits such as buses, jeepneys and tricycles. Tourism and culture. Each town honors their patron saint with celebration on its feast day. In Sorsogon City, the locals celebrate the fiesta of the patron saints Peter and Paul every June 28 annually. Another featured attraction during town fiestas are the traveling carnivals set up near the town center. Kasangiyahan Festival. This is celebrated in the whole province in the last week of October, commemorates the founding of the province. Festivities include a series of cultural, historical, religious, agro-industrial and economic activities, particularly food and decorative items. Pili Festival. This is celebrated in Sorsogon City in honor to the Pili nut and tree which is indigenous to province. The festival coincides with the town fiesta of Sorsogon City with street dancing by locals donning Pili nut costumes, cooking competitions and fireworks displays. Barcelona Church. This is known as St. Joseph Church rich of historical merits and architectural value constructed in 1875. St. Joseph Church is located in the town proper of Barcelona, very old church building and well-preserved churches in the region. Fishing Village of Donsal. This destination offers tranquility to visitors with very relaxing environment. But it is not the settlement itself that is the point of the visit to this serene place, but something else, and a chance to swim with whale shark. Buhatan River Eco Adventure. This destination offers tourist exploration and adventure with soothing environment. The activities includes kayaking or hop in a floating cottage while enjoying their gastronomic offering and traversing the 5 kilometers river. 
Mount Bulusan National Park. This destination is among the three active volcanoes that are situated in the Bicol region. Visiting the volcano itself at its heart with the national park and the Bulusan Lake with its verdant waters is a venture worth taking. San Benin Hot Spring. Located in Irisan, this hot spring is an ideal place to relax, unwind and revitalize your body. Its hot water is just what the guest is needed after a tiring day of activities, tourists can spend an hour or so to relieve tight muscles. In summary, this video gives insights on the brief history, geography, culture, economic importance, and tourist destinations of the region. Specifically, this video encourages everyone to 1. Discover culture and history on a regional and provincial level. 2. Explore the geographical and topographical features of each provinces in Region 5 or Bicol region. 3. Travel domestically and enjoy the beauty of people, culture, and natural resources. 4. Support domestic tourism for cultural and economic sustainability. 5. Be proud of our own characteristics and diversity. 6. Be a responsible tourist for environmental sustainability. I believe that this video is very much useful as we embrace the culture of the country and its tourism activities in the new normal. I wish that everything in this video means a lot to all of you. For further information, please do not hesitate to post message at the comment section below. Please click subscribe and bell icon so that you will be updated for the next uploaded videos. Thank you very much. God bless.